Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is turning out to be a pretty awesome spring day. Uh, it was pretty cloudy this morning, but not really all that cold. And now the sun is out and uh, the water temp is like definitely in that perfect spawning range. So there's a bunch of fish shallow. I caught a lot of fish on swim jigs and some other stuff. Um, but as soon as the sun popped out and the wind kind of calmed down, I was like, dude, it feels like top water time. And uh, so what I wanted to do for this video today was to kind of show you the four top water baits that I really like to throw during the spring. And when I say spring, I mean right around that spawning period or during the spawn. And, uh, and you know, anytime fish are eating on top, you can throw just about any top water bait and have some degree of, of um, you know, uh, luck, I guess, uh, some degree of success. But these four baits are definitely um, well suited for this time period. And so I'll go into them and, and why I like them this time of year. The one thing I'm not gonna do, just so it doesn't drag out too long, is I'm not gonna go through all of the tackle that I use with each of these, but I will write it out in the description below and uh, I'll put the affiliate links uh, for those products uh, in the description as well. So if you're interested in purchasing any, any of this stuff, definitely use those. All right, so let's get started. The first topwater bait that I really start reaching for during this time of year is gonna be a toad. All right, so a toad, let's turn the screen back on here. A toad is, is not to be mistaken with a, a frog. A hall body frog and a toad are two completely different categories of baits, but a toad is essentially a soft plastic buzz bait because it has these little kicking feet. This is the Z-Man goat toad, and it creates a lot of, of uh, you know, spitting and sputtering action on the surface, leaves a bubble trail, very similar to a buzz bait. But the good thing about the toad is it's a little bit more subtle as far as the action and the sound, and it comes through cover very, very well. And it's just a really good search bait. So this is one that I like to, to reach for when the fish are really, really shallow. Maybe they're not on the bed yet, but they're roaming around and, and they're just really active in general. This is gonna be one that I choose because I can cover a lot of water and find those areas where the, the fish are grouped up. Um, it's also the number one choice for heavy vegetation as well. So if you have a lake that has a lot of submergent or emergent grass, Grass, so like Kissimmee grass or, or uh, willow, water willow or, or pads or whatever it is, this is going to be a really, really good choice. So the toad is definitely one that I, I pick up during the spring the most. Uh, the next one is a bait that has been around for a very long time. Um, and that is a popper, just a traditional popper like this. It's got treble hooks on it usually the front one doesn't have any feathers on it but the back one on a lot of these different poppers have uh, feathers on the back um, but essentially a popper is just a hard bait that has this concave uh, nose on it which catches water and the reason why a popper is so good this time of year is because it can stay in the strike zone for a very long time. You can work it where it's walking side to side in one spot for a very long period of time. So it doesn't have a lot of like forward motion. You know, there's a lot of top waters that when you're working it, it's moving forward very quick. A popper you can keep in one spot for a long period of time. So the popper is what I like to reach for when the fish are on the bed and they're really locked on to that bed to where you know you don't want a bait that's going over the bed really fast. You want it just hanging out right above them. So a popper is, is a, a top water that I'm gonna use uh, around isolated cover where I think that the fish are spawning. So like, uh, especially wood, we got a lot of wood out here today. This is gonna be a big player, I think. And so I'll just cast it to an area next to, next to some cover where I think that the fish have, have put a bed and uh, I'll just work it right on top of them. So popper's really good because it can stay right on top of those fish. The next one is very similar, pretty much exactly the same as the same reason I like this bait as the, as the popper. And that is a poppin' frog, very similar. It's a, it's a hall body frog. 
um, that has a concave nose. Same principle, it stays over those fish. So like if I'm going to a lake like Okeechobee and the, the fish are, are you know, spawning, they're on the bed, a lot of times you know, on a lake like this where there's a lot of wood, they'll spawn against the wood. On lakes like Okeechobee, they'll spawn against like reed clumps and things like that. And this is going to be a bait that I can cast to those, those reed clumps or whatever isolated cover, wherever I think the bed is and just work it right over their head and it works really really good in heavy cover so if it's if the cover is too heavy for the popper the popping frog comes out the last top water bait that is just standard in my arsenal is also one that that is primarily for grassy lakes uh, like okeechobee like the kissimmee chain um, and that is a prop bait so something like this, um, you know, the the Devil's Horse is kind of the old standby. This is a river to sea version that I'm not even sure if they make it anymore. But um, uh, it, th this this type of bait has these two props. Most of them have a prop on the front and the back. Some of them just have one on the back. But the ones that I really like this time of year have a prop on the front and the back. And it's similar as far as the application to like the popper and the popping frog, it stays over their head longer, but it does have some horizontal movement. So like you're essentially just pulling it. You're not trying to walk the dog or anything. You're just pulling it on the surface for a couple feet and then pausing it. All right, and the pause is where this, this bait shines because these props, even though you're not, you're not moving, they'll just kind of wiggle a little bit and they'll, they'll you know, the sun will reflect off of them. And I think that's the attraction to these, these style baits when they're just sitting there. So um, this is one that if you go to Okeechobee early in the, in the year, this is one you have to carry with you. So um, I, I generally fish this around like uh, grass edges and you can fish it around hardcover too. So like these laydowns, you can work it against those laydowns, but it, it's, it's mostly emergent vegetation that I'm gonna be fishing this around. So anyways, guys, <clears throat> Again, you can throw a lot of different top waters this time of year. You know, buzz bait would be another one that you'd want to add in there, maybe a whopper plopper. But as far as like my core top water baits that, that just seem to produce every single spring, these four just take the cake. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or you have a bait that I forgot, drop a comment below. Otherwise, uh, make sure you use those affiliate links if you're interested in purchasing anything that I talked about today. And uh, just hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this content. If these are videos you like seeing, uh, you know, that's a great way to support the channel. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to see you out on the water. Trust the process.